Welcome back to an introduction to basic concepts of maintenance and reliability. In this lecture, we are going to discuss metrics of equipment reliability that are actually mean times of different equipment aspects. These include mean time between failures, mean time to failure. So let's say there is a pump that starts operation. It runs for 1000 hours and experienced a failure. Maintenance team repairs the pump and put it back into service. The pump runs for 1500 hours this time and experiences a failure again. Maintenance team again repairs the pump. The pump runs for 1200 hours and fails again. Now the mean time between failures is simply the total operating time divided by the total number of failures. Our total operating time sums up to 3700 hours and we have got a total number of three failures. Simply plugging in the values gives us a mean time between failures of 1233 hours. It is important to consider that on one hand, the mean time between failures calculated here is actually calculated from history of equipment, but it hints towards the future. If a machine keeps failing, it will have low mean time between failure, which will express its poor reliability. The higher the mean time between failures, the better. Mean time to failure is exactly the same concept as mean time between failures. The only difference is that mean time to failure is for things that are non-repairable, such as a ball bearing. Once they fail, they are replaced. Rest of the concept is same, just that wherever we mentioned the asset was repaired, we say it was replaced.